morning one and all in the last video we have learned about a change of states yes or no yes in that we have we have learned the different types of changes of states the now just tell me how many types of states are there yes there are the three types of states of matter solid liquid and gaseous in that we have learned that if we are converting from one states to another then we have learned the different types of process condensation then evaporation melting and freezing am i right in today's video we are going to learn about a concept when some when a states of matter when a matter dissolve in water okay the first is when solid in water the first is solid in water now there are some substance for example sugar salt these are solid substance am i right then whether they dissolve in water yes they dissolve in water do you like lemon juice yes how to prepare the lemon juice can you just tell me yes you have to add a salt sugar and lemon am i right and you have to stir it then we can prepare the lemon juice so like that today i am going to show the activity related to solid in water liquid in water liquid in water means what there are some liquids which can easily dissolve in water for example if we will take a milk it can easily dissolve in water yes or no so that such a liquids are called as a miscible liquid such a liquids are called as a miscible liquid but there are some liquids which cannot dissolve in water such as kerosene oil so such a liquids are called as a immiscible liquid such liquids are called as a immiscible liquid now gaseous in water for example now see the gaseous some gaseous are there that dissolve in water for example now if you will see the cold drink now see this is a cold drink am i right cold drink if you will see the bubbles come out am i right it is nothing but a carbon dioxide it is nothing but a carbon dioxide now do you know fish yes they they breathe yes they breathe through their gills am i right they breathe through their gills they take the oxygen which is dissolved in water which which is dissolved in water now oxygen is in which form it is in gaseous states so some some gases can dissolve in water for example carbon dioxide and oxygen now let's perform the activity i'm going to show the solid in water liquid in water okay now okay now see this is a sugar which is in solid state this is this is a sugar which is in the solid state okay this is a sugar which is in the solid state state even this this is a salt which is in the solid state now i will take some water in the beaker this is a beaker now i i will add some water and some sugar in it see can you see it properly yes now you will see some sugar content now i will stir it let's see that whether it dissolved in water or not let's we will see that you have to stir till the time all the molecules of the sugar are converted into well, are dissolved in the water you can see the molecules of the sugar are dissolved in the water they are dissolved in the water so this is how the some solid substance can dissolve in water for this you can do an activity you can prepare the lemon juice you can prepare the lemon juice by yourself okay then this is what solid in the water then liquid in water liquid in water now there are some liquids which can easily dissolve in water for example now milk yes or no milk can easily dissolve if you will add some drop of water in the milk it can easily dissolve in 
water so such a liquids are called as a miscible liquid and now immiscible liquid immiscible liquid now see this is a oil okay now i will add i will take another beaker and i will add some water in it in that i will add a oil now if you will see can you see the clearly the two layers of the two layers of this oil the oil is floating on the water oil is floating on the water you can easily you can easily see can you see this see oil, oil is floating on the water means oil is not dissolved in the water so there are some liquids which cannot dissolve in the water which cannot dissolve in the water so such a liquids are called as a immiscible liquid such a liquids are called as a immiscible liquid then now see there is now which season is going on rainy season if you might have seen the road the petrol also floats on the water am i right you can see the different colors yes or no so they does not dissolved in the water they does not dissolved in the water why do why do they uh, do not dissolved in the water because of the density because of the density this concept we will learn in the next class okay then there are some gases in water gases some some um, now i have given the example of the cold drink if you will see the cold drink now see this is a cold drink am i right you can see some foams you can see some bubbles these are nothing but a carbon dioxide this is nothing but a carbon dioxide which can easily dissolve in water now the next activity we are going to do about a expansion and contraction so the next point is expansion and contraction of the matter now there are some substance which cannot means there are some substance on heating we can increase the size of that particular solid substance for example now see if you will take a um, any bottle or a, any jar which is tightly fitted then what your mother do she adds she uh, adds a hot water on it on that and uh, after some times that lid gets open am i right so means what on heating the size increases on heating of any solid substance the size will get increase and that process is called as a expansion why on cooling the size get decrease so that process is called as a contraction now in your book the one activity is given about of ring and ball the activity of the expansion and contraction we will do the activity of ring and ball now see this is a ring and this is a ball now first we will see the whether the ball is going no the ball is not going through the ring so what you have to do you have to heat this ring and because of the heating the size will get increase now see i will start to heat this ring as the as the size uh, as yeah, it will get an heat it will increase the size the size of this ring it will get increase now see once i have heated the ball the ball has gone easily through the ring now once i will cool this now see when i will cool this then we will see after cooling whether the ball is going back whether the ball is going back no the ball is not going am i right because after contraction on cooling the size get again decreases and uh, the solid substance of the particular matter this as the size get decrease that process is called as a contraction of the matter that process of that process is called as a contraction of the matter one second i will revise this on heating the size of the solid substance get increase so that process is called as a expansion that process is called as an expansion why on cooling the size of the solid substance get 
decrease and that process is called as a contraction that process is called as a contraction now this activity which is given 